JBN, we keep you informed. I am Michelle Jones, and in the news, man robbed and abducted by fake cops in Portland Cottage, Clarendon. Please remember to subscribe, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Gunmen traveling in a convoy and posing as policemen robbed and abducted a man in Portland Cottage, Clarendon, this afternoon. The abducted man, a fisherman, was eventually released, the police said. He was not injured. Police report that about 2.10 p.m., four men were patrons at a bar in Portland Cottage when three motor vehicles drove up. Men dressed in civilian clothes, bulletproof vests marked police, and armed with rifles and handguns exited the vehicles. It is reported that the men identified themselves as cops. Three of the men in the bar ran, leaving the fisherman. The men then reportedly robbed the fisherman of his phone and a bag containing his passport and cash. The men also robbed him of his Toyota Wish motor car, which was parked outside the bar. The police said the gunman placed the fisherman in a white Mitsubishi Pahero, blindfolded him, and sped off in the convoy. Along the way, one of the vehicles, a white Toyota Pro Box, blew a tire. The men abandoned the car along the roadway. On entering the highway from Freetown, the men kicked the fisherman out of the Pahero. Police said checks revealed that the abandoned Pro Box motor car was reported stolen in St. Catherine. Two killed in motorcycle crash in Westmoreland. Two people are dead as a result of injuries they sustained in a motorcycle crash on Bay Road, Little London in Westmoreland, on Tuesday. The deceased have been identified as 27-year-old Amifika Spence, a mason from New Hope in Little London, and Kimani Cornish, who is believed to be a teenager of the same address. According to sources, Spence and Cornish were traveling on a motorcycle about 1 a.m. when he collided with the back of a white Ford truck. Both men were flung from the bike and died on the spot. The bike was found smashed to pieces in a nearby ravine. Violence produced a found dead in St. Elizabeth identified. Police have identified a man whose body was found with gunshot wounds to the head in Stevens Run, Nain, on Tuesday morning. The deceased has been identified as Tyrone Morgan, otherwise called Cocos a resident of Comapen in St. Elizabeth. A police report said sometime between 1.40 a.m. and 6 a.m., Morgan was seen riding a bicycle towards Stevens Run. His body was later found by residents in the area. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to subscribe, like, share, leave us a comment, and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.